This is DW News live from Berlin. South Africa's ANC loses its parliamentary majority for the first time. Voters punish the ruling party for perceived corruption and inability to solve deep-seated problems. Now it'll be forced to find coalition partners to stay in power. Also coming up. It's time to begin this new stage. For the hostages to come home, for Israel to be secure, for the suffering to stop. It's time for this war to end. U.S. President Joe Biden urges both Israel and Hamas to agree to a ceasefire deal that would see the release of hostages and the withdrawal of Israeli forces from Gaza. Welcome to our viewers around the world. I'm Michael Loku. We begin with the elections in South Africa, where the ruling ANC party has lost its majority for the first time since apartheid ended 30 years ago. With nearly all ballots counted, the ANC has received 40 percent of votes. That's a drop of around 17 percent since the last election. They will now need coalition partners to form a government. South Africa's biggest opposition party, the Democratic Alliance, has received around 21 percent of the votes. The MK party, founded just months ago by former President Jacob Zuma, came in third. For more, let's uh, now speak to DW correspondent Diane Hawker in Johannesburg, and she happens to be at the National Results Center. Uh, Diane, a massive dip for the ANC. What's led to this erosion?